Could you pass your driving test in one week? This is Danny. She started to learn to drive on <laughs> Monday. It's now Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your driving test is on Monday. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, Monday. The How's 18th. the lessons going? Yeah, they're going really well. We don't have to lie. We're all a family <laughs> and we're all a community. The lessons have been cut short. I booked for 22.5 hours. It's Thursday. I've got nothing booked in till Monday, which is why Francis and I connected. That's why we're here now. <laughs> I'm going to give Danny a driving assessment. See how she drives. Her test is in West Wickham. That's where we are right now. Hopefully it's going to go really well. Yeah. If it doesn't, I'm going to put right any mistakes. If it yeah. does, I'm just going to boost up your confidence and you're going to smash Monday. I'm excited. Yeah. Also, you're going to let me know yeah. if you pass or fail. Yes. And we'll have that result for you at the end of this video. Yes. Stand by. Crossed. And we'll hear more about your driving, driving instructor. And everything that's going, been going on. Yeah, I know. It's so tough, isn't it? Also, you've got the <laughs> sickest job ever. Stand by. <laughs> and we'll talk loads about that too. All good. I'm just checking all around. I'm going to prepare the beast. Do you have a name for your car? Mike. It's called Mike Kozowski because oh. colour. Mike Kozowski, the um, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. Um, off we go. Stunning. Brilliant. Okay, so just following the satna from here for about okay. 20 minutes and then I'll direct yes. you normally. After 100 yards, turn left, then turn right. Little meeting road here, kind of. Cool. Just um, don't forget to check your left mirror there. My left cause mirror. Because we're going quite slowly. A cyclist could be keeping up with us. Okay. Check my left turn mirror. Turn left, then turn right. That's the lazy one, I'm not going to lie. I don't have a great view of the road here, so I'm actually just going to whack it into forest. He's going left, so I'm all good to go. As we come around the corner, straight into second. When the wheel straightens up, obviously my indicator is going to lock off, right? Love the commentary. Is this a thing? Yeah, this is me. When you drive? I'm not performing. With your weird driving instructor, yeah. you do the commentary and stuff? 200 yards, turn Love right. it. 200 yards, turn right. Check my mirrors. Yeah, no, I am, um, no, I have to. I'm a big fan of commentary. I recommend it turn to everybody. Right. And probably the best video that I've ever made. The one that I'm most proud of is about commentary. If you haven't seen it, click here. Plug, plug, plug. I'm in second. I'm actually, oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna, I wanted to keep going in second just then. There's no cars behind me, so I was all good, but Unfortunately, there's a uh, cycle, what do you call that? Cycle markings cycle box. on the road? Yeah. yeah. If I wanted to, I could, sorry, sure. I could pop the handbrake up just now because I'm also on a little bit of a hill. Give your leg a rest. Kind of, yeah. It's quite nice to drive another car. Definitely, it's a really this good idea. This car's really nice. Because then you don't think about driving how that one car drives. You yeah. think about driving how cars want you to drive. Did you just see that? Yeah, yeah. What Got that is on going camera. on in West Wickham today? Ladies, I'm going to go because it's green, okay? Oh, now it's red. Do I need to stop here because no. it's red? I can keep on going, okay? I'm just going to pop into second here. Slowly around. Okay, let's just quickly talk about that while we're at a okay. red light. Yeah. The white line on the floor yeah. where you stopped yeah. was the traffic light stop line. Yes. Once you're past that traffic light stop line, the traffic lights don't apply to you anymore. Okay. So you need to exit the junction, otherwise you'd be blocking it. Otherwise I'll be blocking it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's, tr it's tricky, isn't it? Because you can Traffic light, stop line. Stop line, cool. sure. Got it. So tell it's what, what do you do for work? What's okay, your... Okay, so I am a yacht stewardess. After 200 yards, turn okay, right. Just feel how the car feels. The bit how does the car feel right now? A bit grumpily. Yeah, why is that? Because I've gone into third. Not third. Oh, did I go into fourth? Fifth. Oh, what? Yes. Turn right, then okay. cross the roundabout and take the first exit. We're all good here. We're going right. She's got a very clear voice, that lady, isn't she, on the Tom Tom? She's called Serena. Serena. Can you change it? You can, but can this is the one they use for the test. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, that's good. Good muscle memory. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this one. I know this one. This okay. is not that nice. No? You, you Well, because am I turning? Is this alternate goes? Is this alternate goes? Yeah, it's alternate go. So I'm gonna go right behind this guy. I'm gonna stay in first just here. So are they? Are we going around each other? Short or long? It looks like we're going long so that these people can come around this way. Am I chatting shit? No, the commentary's brilliant. Okay, I'm good. loving it, keep going. Yeah, cause like these people that are coming towards us, they have right of way to go that way, but they can also go around here, can't they? Fantastic. And even if you do something wrong there, 
I know what you were thinking, so it makes sense. Did you see what I was going at just I then? saw what you were thinking, I know what you were doing, and as an examiner for your driving test, that reassures me loads, so keep up with it, definitely. Bikes there, always be careful of bikes. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Okay, we're going to slow right down and Thanks. go into the first here. So we're going through, what are they called those? Length Width things? restrictor. Width restrictor. We're going straight on, we don't actually need cross to the roundabout indicate. and take the first exit. We don't need to indicate. If that we were going over there, we would need to indicate. I would say that was more of a left turn. Oh. And think about whether anyone would have benefited from that signal. If okay. you'd have put that signal on, would it not have shown the car to your right that they could have gone at the same time because we're not going to come you're past right. them? Yeah. You're right, okay. I'm with so you. So if anyone would benefit from it, if it's helpful more than misleading, we'll put that signal on. Put the signal on. Yes, Because yes. it's more helpful than misleading. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Nice. Because at any point in time when you're... You can overtake, that's okay. Going wow, she's fit. Look how fit she is. We all need to be like that. Fourth? Nice. But we want to go, we want to remain slow, don't get carried away. Cool. We've so, got... yeah, talk to me about stewardessing. Yeah, below so, deck? Yes, so I'm a yacht stewardess. I'm not on below deck. Okay, but similar. <laughs> I've been approached. Yeah, so I work on, uh, you can Google it, it's a yacht called Motor Yacht Mimi. It's a 60 meter Bonetti. After um, 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Are we getting a free weekend right. on the boat? You are, oh, do you know what, if it was down to me, oh, I'd love it. <laughs> I'd host all of you. <laughs> I'm going right, so I'm going to start indicating now. I'm also, I'm in fourth, go right so on the roundabout I'm going to drop into the third exit. I'm going to slow right down. I've got great view of the road, so I'm just going to keep on going. You can have two wheels on the roundabout. If you flick off, flick back on as you enter back into the road. This is a bit of a meeting point here, so we've got room. No one's behind me, no bikes. I'm going to make a move. Ah, OK. I'm going to slow down and I'm going to move over for this person. But I didn't check that left mirror, which I should have. I was going to say. Have I left myself enough room here? Yeah, you have. Really good. This is a masterclass in commentary. Is it? A okay. Absolutely. <laughs> so good. I don't want you to think I'm performing or chatting crap. Be like, the video I title. generally When do. it's safe to do so, pull up on the left or find a safe place to pull up on the left. Okay, we're going uphill and I don't really know what's coming, so I might just go a little bit further up. Nothing's behind me. I can see the road ahead. I'm going to start slowing down. I'm going to put my foot on the clutch. I'm going to bring it in nicely here. And straighten her up a little bit. Really good. You were aiming to be like super parked, okay. danger close parked there to the okay. curb, but you were that close. I was too close. Okay. Not too close, it's fine, but you don't need to be. You can be up to, to a be. drain width away from the curb. Okay. Or like okay. a foot. That's good to know. Bit of space. Bit of space. Bit of space. Use it as a safety margin. Sure. Okay. In case you then go over that safety margin then you don't bump the curb. And we don't want to bump the curb. Just, okay. a, just, just a tip. Do you think that when I was coming up there and pulling in left, was I, did I do that a bit too sharp? Could I have gone a bit more long? It was great. Okay. What you did there pulling in was great, um, but you didn't check the mirror, so you would have got a driver hook for that, especially oh, with oh. the speed that we're driving. Okay. Cyclists and stuff. Yeah. That mirror is a tough one, guys, that mirror. The more we point it out, the better yeah, you'll be at it's spotting true. it, though. And I'm so aware of it. I'm so aware that that mirror is... I know how important it is, but... I know how bad I am at check checking. Okay. It. Well, if you keep it in your mind. Yeah. Maybe write L mirror. Yeah. On your hand. Yeah. Discreetly. When, I'm out driving when you're with your instructor. Oh my god. Sorry, instructor. examiner. Yeah. For Monday. Oh, okay. Write okay. L mirror. Or we can something. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> or even a post-it note there where the examiner can't see it. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could get a little sticker that on the inside there. Yeah, left okay. mirror. Oh yeah, it's always in my head then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look on the left. Look on the left. Let's drive on. Okay. We're gonna look around first. Lovely houses around here. West Wickham is the best. West Wickham. Have you driven down Langley? I'm sure you Oh have. my God, yeah. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. One more time. I'm sure your house is quite similar to this. That well, below it, deck money. Oh, <laughs> well actually I live in, um, yeah, so I live in Mallorca in Parma and we live in an apartment block in a place called Santa Catalina. It is lovely. It is really nice, but it's not, I don't live in like a really nice house. Okay. Because in Spain it's so expensive. Yeah. So expensive. In Mallorca, in Palma anyway. You used to live in Palma. I did used to live in Palma. Funny. When I was eighteen, I or seventeen, I lived in. You lived in Palma. I lived in Mallorca. Yeah. 
big up the Palmer crew. Such a good time. It's beautiful. It's like, just a 24-7 party. Yeah. Well, it's not like that really anymore now. No? Uh, no, it's really chilled. It's like full of like family. Really? No. Loads of Germans. Loads of celebrities. When I worked there, it was just like party all night, wake up on the beach, go to work. Yeah. Turn left. Turn left. Okay, I'm in third gear also. Oh, I didn't check again. <laughs> Drop down into second. Turn left. Slowing right down. Really nice, smooth braking. You actually control the car so well. Really? Oh, that's good For someone who's only been driving since Monday, Monday yeah. this is insane. Is it? Actually. OK, that's good. Actually, you must wonder, be so quick at learning. What, I, yeah, I do. Because we're not going to put it down to your instructor, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, guys, so the instructor. Should I talk a little bit about Go for some it, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. If you have an instructor that's a little bit inappropriate, and I'm not talking like physical inappropriate, just innuendos and things that make you feel uncomfortable, it's not on, like it's not acceptable, shouldn't be done. It's not At all. great for your learning because it distracts you. It's not great for your confidence because you're distracted and then you think it's the driving. You feel scared to go on lessons or anxiety, you then and hate the, and it. The, and the anxiety also isn't, so we're going left here. Um, yeah. It's just, it's not, it's not a vibe. And there was multiple times when I just thought, I don't really want to be doing this anymore. Like, I really don't want to be learning with this bloke. Knocks you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially because, like I say, I think I'm, I think I'm a good, I'm an all right driver. I'm a bit older, I'm 30. So I feel like, you know, you might be a little bit more cautious. Is this 30? Mm. Can't help you with that. What do you think? Does it say, oh, it says 30. Lovely. See, this is what, okay. So I've never used a TomTom -tom before in any of my lessons. We're going to go right down here. You can look at the speed, but okay. it is sometimes wrong. So pitch of salt. OK. We're going straight on here. I've got right of way, so that's great. He's After 300 on. yards, turn right. 300 yards, turn right. But yeah, basically, if, you're, if you've got an instructor that's, you know, I'm doing an intense course, so I sort of have to suck it up to some Can't degree. go anywhere else, yeah. Can't really it's go too anywhere late else. Now. Flying back to Mallorca literally Tuesday after I do my driving. And Turn right. I don't want to put myself in a position where, you know, I'm causing any bad blood right now. I could have gone there. I would have gone then if I wasn't, um, <laughs> if I wasn't, uh, if I had a license. Pass a driving test, yeah. <laughs> if I had a license, I would probably have gone then. <laughs> well spotted. Yeah, and that's fine. You want to be as cautious as possible. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. So, okay, if you've got one piece of advice for someone else going, through your situation, because they're yeah. probably going to be 17, 18, 19. Yeah, You're 30, people. so you've got a cleverer, not cleverer, but more no. experienced head on your shoulders. For sure. What's the advice? I would say, especially if you're younger and you're not in a rush to pass, just understand that that behavior is not normal and you could very easily be with an instructor who isn't making you feel uncomfortable, is giving you the right iterations that you need. I would suggest changing as soon as you possibly can. And I also think as well, if I had, you know, when I have children and they learn to drive, I'm gonna say to them, go out with an instructor just once. Just go with one instructor, just see if you vibe with them. One see lesson. One yes. lesson, see if you get on, see if like, you know, he's, it's not it's not difficult to know whether someone's a good judge of character you know yeah yeah yeah, definitely We're going straight. and if it's not vibes or energy then don't book up again if you're 17 and your parents are paying for you to drive you want to be with an instructor that really makes you feel comfortable and definitely. you know you don't want to waste your money you don't want to waste your time you don't want to waste your money you don't want to feel uncomfortable after 200 yards turn right danny's driving advice <laughs> also i'll let you concentrate here but yeah. also if you're going through the same right. thing then you can also report it to the DVSA. Mm -hmm. I did do a video about this before. If you haven't seen it, it's here, right here, click here. Don't put up with it in silence. And also, even though you might have, it won't help you because you're gonna to get to the end of your course and never see him again. Yes. But for someone else that might not also be able to speak up the way you can. Exactly. If we report this kind of behavior, yeah. then it might stop someone else. And I must admit, there wasn't anything, you know, he, it was lots of, as I mentioned, innuendos it wasn't like he never grabbed my leg or like yeah it wasn't any these people crossing this is what you've got to be careful of eh because they're kind of they're just there happy with that they weren't at the crossing so yeah great. they Good weren't job. were they um what was i saying that he didn't grab your leg it doesn't yeah. need to get that far no it though. doesn't need to get that far he didn't yeah exactly like he it wasn't 
Oh, we've got another whip barrier, lovely. So I'm just gonna slow right down here. Oh, I'm going to second, I might even go into first. Could even do a bit more slow. Wow, super that. confident, Danny. Really? Oh my really? days. <laughs> Honestly. And That's you know, supposed to be scary you know and what was You know what was also is sometimes a little bit challenging with these situations? There would be times when we've been out, you know, recently and we would be doing manoeuvres together and I think he's given me these instructions so clear, it's fantastic. Like, why is it not like this all the time? And then, you know, we'd be driving along like this and the conversation would get incredibly distracting and just... Ick. Ick, ick is the vibe, yeah. And, and also sometimes struggling to make out what you mean. Like, sorry, what? And that distracts you, you know? That's not cool. Wow. Yeah, but that's probably happened to so many people so many before. So many people, yeah. And nobody said anything. They've just left it and like, yeah. oh, shut up. Okay, I'm going to slow. Now, if this was my test, obviously, I would probably slow down a little bit sooner than that. Because he's not really being clear on what he's doing. As if you've only been driving since Monday. What the <laughs> hell? Do you know, when I got in my mum's, and my mum's got... At the end of the road, turn left, then road. at the end of the road, mm, turn gonna right. Wait. We're going to wait. Oh, he's flashed me. That's probably thanks. That's why we don't flash thanks. people yeah. to say things, because it, it's miscon... It, yeah. Can be I thought for a second, I was like, no, he's uh, he's telling me to go. Yeah, yeah. I'd Look already like stopped, it. and I don't want to take that chance anyway, you know? Okay, so cool. we are... Did you notice me look at you there? Yeah. I was expecting a mirror check. The examiner should turn do the left. same. Okay. At the end of the Good road, prompt. Turn right. Well, you don't really prompt. Want, yes. You don't Use really that want. as a prompt. If he's looking at, why is he looking at me? Mirror yeah. check. Right. Mirror check. Yeah, mirror yeah. check. Do you know who I saw my mum do the other day? We were in the car. See, flashing his lights at me. Interesting. He's Thank let me go. Thank you very much. Oh, but nice. we will wait. Yeah, I think the, you've got to be careful with this sort of road because bit of oversteering now um because you can look that way and be like yeah cool good and then these cars have stopped and you've not looked left Bang. and then you set off yeah yeah happens how much have you driven with your mum just twice twice yeah and you've done monday tuesday wednesday oh, sorry thursday oh, sorry, we're now on thursday yeah four lessons twice driven with your mum yeah so i've done 14 hours driving the end of the road, turn right, and i've done take the third right at the end of the road turn right Okay, so this is a this is a crossing up there, right? That's what that looks like. The reasoning of a chief stewardess. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Really I, have, good. I have to do this in my job, don't Amazing. I? Amazing. What's the hardest thing about what you do? I want to talk about below deck. The hours. Oh really? It it's the hours. Mad hours, but Mad then they hours. get off, and then you can just party for the whole weekend, right? Yeah, depending on if you've got, like, so if you're a charter boat, you have guests coming on to use the boat consistently throughout the summer. Yeah. So you'll have an owner's trip. Um, they might leave. You might only have two days you've got a charter booked in. Then they might leave a week later. You've got two days you've got the owners back in. Two-day party? Yeah. Well, wow. you can imagine. You've got a 60-meter yacht, right? You've, you've had the owners on board. They, they're lovely, very chilled. But then you've got a party crew coming. So you've got a provision. You've got to get everything ready. You want to make sure that you've, got, you've had enough rest. Below deck is very, it, it, there's a huge misconception that it's really? this like oh. wild party life. Don't get me wrong, there are. Wild parties. There's wild the parties. The road, yeah. Turn right, <laughs> then take the third right. But it's not to that level? But it's not like, oh, that's yeah, like you know what's really, really quite fun? I'm just giving myself enough space with cool. this Go car for it. in case Smart. he rolls back, you know? Um, yeah, like, you know, we're in the middle of Saint-Tropez. It's the middle of the summer. It's August. Like, people are out partying you've got one day off it's like yeah okay let's go live the billionaire life yeah 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 <laughs> and then like sunday rolls around it's like we've got a charter on tuesday and now you're hanging <laughs> and now we're hanging okay. and we've got to get so much ready um do you actually have to live in the boat yeah, in those little in cabins with bunk yeah, beds and do. stuff that's for real okay yeah. you do you live you live on the boat that was a hard hill start under pressure that was perfection just watch your spacing on this road Oh, we're in second, so we can go along like this for a minute. Third. Okay, we're going off right up here. No, are After we? 100 yards, yeah. turn right. Am I in the middle lane? Oh, okay, so I don't actually know who I'm kind of guessing. Okay, just remember turn this. Turn right. I'm going to remember this. Cool, we've stopped at a red light anyway. You were yeah. working out what lane to be in. Working you were out. looking to the right, indicating right, and slid from that lane into this lane. Right. That's going to be an issue. That's just be remember, an issue. like, 
I need to be aware of everything happening around, okay. especially if I'm thinking where I need to where position. Where I need to position. Cool. So I should be positioning here, right? Either lane would have been fine. Either this lane. lane is preferable. Preferable. But while you're working it out, just take a picture of like what's around what's you. What's around me. Okay. Cool. We also had a lot of moving traffic there as well, didn't Yes, we? yes. So it would have been great to know where everyone behind where you was, everyone was, what they were doing. And now this road, okay, so this is going to be fun because yeah, I've never driven around here. This is the test route. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bromley South. Cool. But yeah, so the yachts, no, it's good fun. It's it really looks good like fun. fun. What's it's the best amazing. thing about your job then? The variety. Okay, different people, different, different locations. People, different locations. Like, if you if you're someone that's working seasonal positions, you get to move around and all. all, all, all. Handbrake up, neutral. Start the engine. <laughs> oh my god, guys! I've never stalled. Am I in first? Oh, oh my god. It's cool. Take a second, <laughs> breathe, and carry on. Guys, what's happening? Okay. Switch off. Switch off. Switch on. Switch on. Cool. Back into first. Back You're into rushing first. massively. Rushing off. You're rushing. Okay. Find the bite. You Find weren't bite. dropping the handbrake, All but you were trying down. to make the car move. Okay. Cool. So you're at the biting point, you can feel that. I can feel that. What's the it. next step? You drop the handbrake. Handbrake goes off, yes. Okay. yes Should yes, I go yes. forward a bit? Go for it, just for practice. Beaut. Really nice. Okay. Oh my god, that was so strange. Yeah, Thank you for being for patient, buddy. Wow, isn't that funny? Not strange, yeah, let's take all that my fault because I beat you up on the last hill start. <laughs> but <laughs> but the are. second recovery was like, I'm trying to rush now to get over yeah. the first mistake. Yeah. You've yeah, made that mistake, the examiner's marked it. Let's take another second let's or two to make sure it's perfect isn't the second that interesting? time. interesting? Okay, so this is why it's important to like practice these things. Okay, so here we are. Off Beautiful, we go. really good. Off we go. Really good. Just a second. Nice. Stay in the lane. Okay. To third. Okay. Back on track. Now you've made a mistake. Okay. It feels like a big mistake. How do you feel? Um, I'm just gonna take a minute to be like, okay, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Don't now assume that you're gonna be making all these mistakes and you're a bad driver. Yep. Because you're not a bad driver, but you are learning. So it's kind of expected. Yeah, yeah that's cool. what I think. And you're not gonna dwell on it. No. Because we need to focus ahead. For sure. I think cool. if you're in your exam right now, that could be a big uh-oh. You know, It, it might feel like, like it. 200 yards, turn right. But it's not. And after you've made a mistake, the biggest thing is to just take a second to, to breathe, yeah. think, and don't rush the, don't the correction. Rush off. Turn right. Cool. Over to you. Nice and slowly. You can see the position in the road here. You can see it right there. And I'm good to go. Brilliant. So read the road markings. Really nice. Like, if I had allowed that stall to affect me just then, you'd be questioning. I would be like, oh. Is that a road sign there? Do I need to go? Shit. <laughs> you know? Wow, this is why you're the chief stewardess. You must give <laughs> these motivational speeches to your crew and stuff, right? You're like, don't worry about it. Like, we've got this, guys. We're Come okay. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the Dompe. Dom we've got the Dompe. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got the Shiraz. <laughs> we've got... Echo Falls on tap. <laughs> we've got Sasakaya 2002. <laughs> that's a fancy red wine. Okay, yeah, that's why I've never heard of it. Okay, what are we doing? We're doing 26. There's a few cars around. After 300 Very yards, bad. cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Another barrier coming up here, so just slow down. But yeah, I think it's don't don't take effect. Maybe maybe that is my job, making me not worry so much about you know making mistakes, because it is high pressured. Like when you're working with people that have paid a lot of money for their holiday. Likewise, if they own the yacht, like you know, they expect a certain level of service. So you aren't Cross always. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Okay, I'm gonna drop back down into second because that's a bit more appropriate for this. We're all good. Brilliant. Perfect. Don't want to be a hazard at a roundabout. Don't be a hazard. That's good <laughs> advice. Very good advice. Let's pull up on the left in a safe place. Okay. Let's talk about stalling. Yes. Let's talk about Your that. reaction to stalling was interesting because okay. I feel like it made you under more pressure. Yes, it did. So Especially because I had so many people behind me. Mm. Mm. So you stalled the car and the car was perfectly set up for that hill. Yeah. All we need to do, drop the clutch, put the brake on, switch the engine on. Mm -hmm. 
But what you did was you completely reset the car like you were starting from scratch. Why yes. is that? Is that something your mum said? I don't know, actually. I think it was more... I suppose maybe I felt safer not having the car in gear. Okay, interesting. That was a bit like, okay, we're completely protected, the handbrake's up, we're in neutral, let's just take a minute and go again. So we're adding natural... more steps okay. into the sequence. Which is annoying. Which actually then you're going to try and rush those steps to get it out, to get it done faster. I understand. To get set off faster. So let's yeah. do it now. Let's just practice. Imagine this is a hall, a hill. A hill. Clutch down, first gear. Hand on the handbrake, because that's the position we were in. Yeah. Foot over the gas. Yeah. Try and set off, but don't take the handbrake off. Okay, you want me to try and do that? You're going to make stall. the car stall, okay. which is, this is what you were doing last time. So the car's going to stall. Yeah. Clutch down. Clutch down. The car's still secure. Switch yeah. off and on. And then you go again round two. I see. Look how much easier that was. Yes, just less because steps. Because what I less did, about. should I stall it again? Go for it. It's not going to hurt the car, no? No, it's fine. Are I don't you mind. Sure? Yeah. It's a nice car. Mike won't mind. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> cool, so we've stalled. Okay, what so next? imagine, imagine if I just did what I did, which was, oh my God. How now we've completely one, reset. Two, three, four, now five, we've got to six, reset seven, again. Eight, nine, sorry, you're doing 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are like, what's she doing? Cool. Okay. So we're not going to reset, just get the car secure. Car secure. So handbrake back on if that's what you do. Yeah. Still in first gear, just switch back on and carry on. Switch back on. We, we are learning so much. <laughs> and this is really useful for everyone else as yeah, well. Yeah, so Danny, thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. We appreciate Danny in the comments. <laughs> give her some love, props and energy, especially because it's her real driving test on Monday. Yeah, Monday. Which you will have already taken. Yes. So stay so tuned. We'll know the results coming we'll soon. We not have the results. How exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm really excited. I think as well, don't put too much pressure. Like if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You just, it wasn't meant to be. You just learn, keep learning and do it again. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Actually, it's annoying. It's an inconvenience for you if you don't pass. It is annoying. But you can just do it again. And you just do it. Yeah, for me, like yeah. I've just flown over here, taking time off. Yeah, work. right. The pressure must be oh, huge to pass. Yeah. You I actually know, come yeah. on holiday to do this I've test. I've basically taken holiday from my actual job. I could be in Sri Lanka right now. Oh, is that where they are? No, they're on in. A... No, they're in the. They're in Mallorca, where I, I'm living. Okay. Before that blue car, turquoise, light blue. Yeah. Sea aquamarine. Yeah. Let's pull up on the left. Not too close to it. Okay, cool. This is, I'm assessing your driving. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. So I'm not going to go easy on you because no. that wouldn't benefit yeah. you. No, of course. Here we're going to do a manoeuvre. Okay. We're going to pull away from here and reverse oh back, God, back into this hill. position. <laughs> down a hill. That's the challenge. Okay, interesting. Ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm up for this. You've learnt this already? I have learnt this already, yeah. Happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, show me how it's done. Okay, cool. We're quite close to them, to be quite honest. I don't really want to be that close. But I can do it from here. Okay. I'm actually a bit longer around. About there. I'm going to do one full turn to the left. I'm going to check that I haven't got anyone running around me. Yeah. And I'm going to slowly bring the car back in. Now, if my markers work, what I'm trying to do is... Interesting, because this car's different, but the handle... I want the handle to be sat on the curb. Just make sure there's no one there. Okay, so he's taught you how to parallel park his car. So now yeah. you have to buy his car to be able to still park. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to shade out your instructor. Yeah. That's... <laughs> okay, so what I'm looking for in that little tiny mirror there is for the handle to be, if you can see, on the edge of the curb. Okay. In my, what I can see so far, that's what it looks like. This person's still waiting for me, so I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go full lock to the right. This is a marker, so I just wanna check there's no one else there. And I'm slowly gonna now allow the car to come round. I wanna be careful of Mike's wheels. Thanks. Because I don't want, this is a lovely car, and I don't want him to. Okay, I'm gonna stop because obviously there's moving traffic. I'm going to keep bringing it back right now. And I'm now going to start looking behind me. Oh, just now. Okay, cool. Important. <laughs> and I can slowly start seeing that the line is coming uh, parallel with the car. 
and I'm gonna undo her like this, him, Mike, and then I'm gonna come back and straighten it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back in, oh, and then I'm gonna leave it about there. Take it out of neutral, and handbrake up. Did you know, Francis, that we've got a suitcase company? <laughs> it's called the Portable Porter. I can't believe how lovely this car is to drive. Thank you so much. It is so, such a nice, what a lovely car to be able oh, to wow, drive Oh wow, thank in. you. You're my favourite mock test. Honestly, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just be nice to Mike and you'll be my favourite mock test. That's the, that's the key. Turn right. What do you do when you're not on um, boats and doing stuff? Yeah, so my boyfriend's got this suitcase company um, and it launched it launched back in September 2022. Okay. It's called the Portable Porter Company, so I spend a lot of my time helping him, doing photo shoots. Ooh, that was a pothole. That's all right. That's not nice for the car. Sorry, Mike. That was a horrible pothole. Oh, I've had worse. Right. Shout out Kevin, he knows. Kevin. What did Kevin get up to? He smashed my car into a pothole and... Ooh, Kevin. Kevin. And um, he's not heard the end of it yet. Oh, every time you pick it. Are you teaching A bath crew. A bath crew. Sometimes you wave at another a bath and they're oh, really no, friendly. There they are. And yeah, sometimes yeah. you wave at another a bath and she looks at you like you're an absolute dickhead. She looks cool. That was the second time right she there. She looks cool. Look at her lovely hair. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Then you have reached your destination. Mm -hmm. It is on your right. What we're going to do is we're going to yeah. turn right on the roundabout. We're going to turn right on the roundabout. Yes, please. And then we've reached our destination. That was the wrong. Turn right and then we've reached the destination. This person's also going right. We're in second. Are we going to let these people go because it's safe to do so? because they were right there. He's going right. A little bit of clutch control there, because we're kind of on a hill. He, good opportunity for me to go. Nice and slow. Do you know what? I was also just thinking there's some things that the instructor has told me that obviously, you know, he's a driving instructor, right? So he, he knows what he's doing. Cool. And it's a real shame that he made me feel uncomfortable several times because he's obviously not terrible, terrible, terrible at his job, but... Because you're really good at driving, Because yeah. I'm not too bad at driving and like certain manoeuvres, you know, he's taught me, but it's the stuff that comes with it. And that is what makes you not a great instructor because obviously, yeah. ultimately this person... Oh, what was that? That's my bag. Oh. <laughs> um, because it's not yeah. just about teaching. It's not just it's about, about teaching. You could be the best teacher yeah, in the world, yeah, but you, yeah. could, or you could swear a lot and that could offend someone, you know? We are going to take the next... So that's the end of independent driving. Okay. I'm going to direct you. Okay. From here, we're going to take the next road on the left. The next road on the left. Lovely. Let's start indicating now. I'm in three. I'm going to drop down to two. This person is also going, but I have right of way because they're at a giveaway line. Uh, this is a funny one. This is Hayes High Street. Been here before? Been here before. Cool. I'm in second. Busy high street, lots of old people like running around here. Well, <laughs> not running. What, Zimmer framing? <laughs> Zimmer framing around. Wow. <laughs> Can we say that on YouTube? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll cut that <laughs> cut that bit out. Can't say that cut on YouTube. Out. Guy with a guy with a van opening the door. Where would you like me to turn? Turning right at the roundabout. I've got a good clear view of the road here. If I don't need to stop, I'm not going to. I don't need to stop, but I'm just going to take it slow, foot off the gas. Okay, I want you to take the yep. next right, just here. The little one there. Wait. He's coming quite quick. He's letting oh, me go. You Universal much. flicker of the lights, lovely. Okay, we're going to go left under the first arch. This is Hayes Station Car Park. Been in here? No, never. Okay, the examiners love coming in here for a little cheeky manoeuvre. It's a busy, busy one. Go left okay. and go to the end. Go left and go to the end. Nice and Because it's not a real driving test, I'm assessing your driving. Yes. Let's do two manoeuvres, because fun. Yeah. Left. Left again. Well, actually, why are, we, why are we indicating? That's not necessary. But you know what, now I've indicated. So okay, sorry. oh, bloody learners. Right, I want you to pause there. 
and then what you're going to do is pick a bait on the left or right yep. and forward park into it. Okay, so I've done this once. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> Oops, is your test on Monday? <laughs> What's next? Um, I need to straighten us up. Okay, how are you going to do that? I'm going to reverse. Fair enough. Yeah, I've only done this once or twice. Okay, pause there, just pause, pause. stop, stop. stop. Yep. So I've noticed you do this a few times okay. and I wanted to say something about it, but yep. now we've actually got a really good opportunity. You're on a slight hill. Yes. When we were on that roundabout as well, we were on a slight hill. Slight There's been hill. a couple of hills as well where someone's been stopping really close. Yeah. And what you do is you've got clutch down, brake on. Brake on, yeah. You come off the brake and hop off the clutch okay. while hitting the gas, okay. which gives the car opportunity to roll, back to roll back while the brake's off and the clutch is down and lifting to biting point. Yeah, okay. Have you been taught this or not? No, I don't even need to use a handbrake. Uh, clutch down, brake on. Clutch down, brake on. Set it into reverse. Set it into reverse. Handbrake off, because we've got the foot brake on. Handbrake off, yeah. And you've had the handbrake off most of the time you've yeah. been doing hill starts. Yeah. No problem. If we take the brake off, what happens? Try it. We're going to roll forward. I actually did this as a video the other day. Oh, I need to watch it. You haven't seen it? No, I don't think so. Do you know what you need to do, Danny? Yeah. Totally. Click here. Click here. <laughs> Kevin's video about hill starts. So just quickly though, follow me. Yeah. Clutch is down, Clutch brake is, down. is on. Brake is on, yeah. Lift the clutch up until you feel the biting point before you lift off the brake. You can feel the biting point now. There, cool. Yeah. That's where you lift off the brake. And if I'm checking, check, 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 check. If I, should I do it for a second? Yeah, yeah, go for it. And then we go backwards instead of going forward. I see. And pause. Turn left, then take the third left. And it's much more relaxing, actually, because then we don't mm. have to quickly yeah. flick your feet. So I can use the control of the clutch to help. Yeah. The, the speed clutch is car. already pushing you backwards, yeah. so when you come off the brake, you don't roll forwards. Cool, let's um, do it. Adjusting. Um, yeah, as I say, I've not done this very many times, so we'll see how this goes. Got it. I need to straighten my cup a bit. So dip the clutch a little bit and come all the way off the brake. We should just Ooh. be using the clutch oh, yeah, to control that. the speed. Oh, down for slower. Down for slower. Up for faster. Up for faster. Now, I'm not going to lie, Go I don't think this is very good because I've got so much space on this side and yeah. I can't see the lines and we're in over my... the... So here's what I would do to correct it. Yeah. Straighten the wheel. There. Come all the way back until you can see the lines in front of you. Okay. Nice clutch control, just using the clutch to control the speed. Look over. When you can see the lines, you can drive back into them easy. Oh, yeah. Cool. I can see the lines. Great. Drive in. And manoeuvre done. Why didn't that work in the first place? So the markers that he's taught me to use, I'm, I am of the understanding that it might not work for every single car. So the marker that I was trying to use, I was trying to get a bay line teed up with this handle here. Okay, and what if my handle's in a different place to yours? For sure. Yeah. And this car is a very different shape and length. So that didn't work for me because what happened was I oversteered Mm -hmm. Because I was, I think I was a little bit too close, to be honest, to the bays. I you think were. That could was have the given initial problem. Okay. Be further away from the base, be you've got more away. time to... Because you did hit the wall, or you were close to, close the, wall to the wall before you were even parallel it was to the bay. very wonky, because I was sort of at an angle. Yeah, because we didn't have any straightening up room. No. So that's none. the first thing that we could do to improve it. Sure, okay. And then once you've got your own car, then you can find a new reference point that works for it. Sure. Do you know what? A lot of my friends in the UK, they all, they all drive. They um, they got it done quite early. Oh. Don't leave That's it too long. That's not so common though. Like a lot of people, especially if you live in London, mm. didn't learn to drive when they were 17, I know. 18. Especially so, when you reach like, okay. your early 20s and you know, you work, like I was working in central London and so I never found it a necessity. Oh really? You didn't no. always do boats? What did you do before this? I did, then? I was a personal assistant for like seven years. I can see it. Can you? Definitely. <laughs> Organised, under control, unflappable, <laughs> definitely. 
I try not to flap. That's one thing. If I can give any new learner advice, I mean, who am I? I've been doing it five days, but don't flap. Like, there's literally nothing. No After reason. Yards, okay, I've got a hazard. Right. I've got a hazard. Can I go around him? I'm going to stop for him. The reason I've stopped for him is because I feel like in my test... Oh, oh, okay. In my test, I would see this as a, as a hazard. Yeah. So I feel the need to stop because I would be more of a hazard if I carried on going and there's people coming towards me. Also, you see Love these it. markings in the middle of the road there. I would have been happy for you to go around and I'm happy that you stopped. Okay. So the explanation of your reasoning for an examiner, again, that's just the icing on the, on the okay. cake. Perfect. Good stuff. It says slow, like, you know, with my gears and stuff, like, I feel like going into third. Do you reckon I should just stay in second for a bit? Slow written on the road means that usually there's a hazard coming up. Okay. So the hazard there saying slow was the bend. Yes. The hazard, when it says slow, you might be coming up to a junction or something like that. Sure. So if you're going at the correct speed, for the road already, yeah. then you should probably slow down. There's okay. a hazard coming up. Sure, but because sure. we were setting off from zero, yeah. we could actually build up more speed for build that. Up more speed. Yeah. Okay, roundabout. Let's yeah. go to West Wickham third exit on your right. West Wickham third exit, lovely. So I'm gonna get into uh, I don't want them to think I'm going in a driveway. I'm gonna start indicating now. I'm gonna drop in second. I'm gonna let my clutch do some talking. Position myself in the right, got a good clear view. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep a nice distance from the roundabout right now, and then I'm gonna click off left. How was that roundabout? There was one small mistake. Didn't go the mirror, the yes, yes, mirror. yes. Fucking mirror, Fucking mirror. <laughs> isn't that so annoying? Danny, what do you know? What and the thing is, I'm so aware of bikes, and like, do you ride bikes? No, my brother does though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so like I'm aware, like I know how important they are. Why do we not, why do I not want to look over that way? Take the there? next road on the left. Checked it then though, didn't I? Because <laughs> we keep talking about it. The yeah. more you talk about it, you'll build that ha habit. And. Bit of a stupid place to park there, I would say. Would you say that? Legal parking place might be that person's house. Oh, okay. Do you think that's a good place to park a car? And then below deck Danny is just called him stupid. <laughs> Shade. Below deck Danny. <laughs> okay, let's find somewhere to pull up on the left. Okay, that's the end. That's uh, it. How was that? It was amazing. You drove so, you. so, so well. Yeah. And we won't call it like pass or fail. We won't call it like majors or minors. Okay. We'll call it learning, learning and experience. Learning and experience, yeah. You've got so much more experience, knowledge, tips. And yeah. what I'll do for you as well, I'll do a really rough edit of this. Okay. And send it to you. Okay, cool. On a private link to watch it. So you've oh got God, even more sure learning. That? That would be yeah, you've got even more. Like, I won't edit it nicely for no, YouTube. No, yeah, of course. I'll do yeah. a proper edit for you guys, but Danny will have already seen it so that she can. Yeah. Learn and improve. Watch yeah, yourself sure. back. Definitely helps. I would really appreciate that. Danny, yeah. thank you. bloody lovely to meet you. All the yeah. best for Monday. Thank you so much. Yeah. And Comments thank you. section light up. Yeah, woohoo! Let's get going. And stand by because Danny's result is coming now. <laughs> Hi guys. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Francis for taking me out and helping me with my mock test because I passed. With two minors, I'm so, so, so excited and I just can't wait to get out there, be on the road, be free.